I mean, of course, it's not as heavy as we wanted it to, but anyways, you ready to see? Yes, let's see it. And this one, this was heavy. I can work out with this. Chill. One, two. Look at that, Whoa. what I tell you? What I tell you, this one's a lot better. I just think it's funny. Yeah, that's <laughs> the first time we've been robbed. <laughs> Guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do. So you guys know every single time we do a big collection video, you know, we go and collect a bunch of money. We go and buy a whole bunch of product at Sam's. But I'll tell you guys this, not every single location is always gonna be a gold mine. Like every now and then you might get a slow location. So with that being said, for today's video, instead of going to our busy locations and collecting a bunch of money, I'm gonna be showing you guys the other side of vending, the slower side. Actually, one location that we're going to, we haven't been there in like, what, three months? Yeah, I think it's like, been a long time. It's been a long time, like three months. They said up to 20 people. I think only there. a few people work there, but for some reason, they just don't buy anything from the machine. They're probably still paranoid. Or everything is probably expired. I mean, it's been three months. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all do, don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe because we are trying to hit 400,000 by the end of the year. Actually, here. I know what's gonna make you guys subscribe. Everyone can have a bag of chips right now. Take it. What if they don't Take like it. ruffles? I'm sorry, it's only one we can give away. Take it. There, so now I gave you guys a bag of chips. Everyone has to subscribe right now. But yeah, let's go fill up some slow locations, I guess. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, everyone, so we just made it to our first location and a quick background on this location. It used to be like really slow. I think it used to make like 80 bucks a month. I think a hundred at the most. And the reason why I kept it is just because at the time I didn't really have anywhere to like put the machines. So I was like, you know what? It's making a hundred bucks a month. It's better than nothing. You guys can't even see it, but the building is back there. Uh, but they actually recently built like a giant, huge building right at the very front. I'm not gonna show it, but it's like a brand new building. It's huge. Uh, they got a lot more employees. They got more people coming in. And ever since all that, we went from making a hundred bucks a month to now around like 400 bucks, which is four times the amount, which is crazy. Dang, you're weak. <laughs> I don't see you helping me. You really can't break this. Come on now, look, watch. Okay, let's see. Come on, now I'm not even gonna try. Ooh. Nah. Told you. We gotta get like a built-in AC back here or something because it's always so hot. No, we need a freezer back here. That's a freezer? What For all the chocolate and stuff? Yeah. All right, everyone, so right now we are inside of our first location. Y'all can see we have a regular soda machine, a regular snack machine. Actually, fun fact, this location is one of our first ever locations that we ever got. So it's been almost two years with these people here, so it's pretty cool. But anyways, if I remember correctly, I believe I got this snack machine for like 1500, the soda machine for like 2500, even though these brand new are like $5,000. Really? Yeah, these machines for some reason they're 5,000. I don't even know why because you can't even fit a bunch of drinks inside. Like check this out. Probably because it's nice. It is nice but you can't fit a bunch of drinks. So we recently switched from cans to bottles and for cans we used to be able to fit like 50 or 60 cans which isn't too bad. But after we switched to bottles we can only fit 20 bottles. <laughs> That's nothing. Which is nothing. This row is empty. This one's empty. And the Sprite is almost empty. Well, those are all the bottles. Yeah, it's all the bottles. Not because it's busy, but just because we can only fit 20 bottles. So it's been two weeks and there's only three selections empty. 
so that just goes to show look at this why is there so many none of them sold not even one single cream pie sold oh wait actually october 2nd what's today the fourth no yeah that Dang. one's bad oh october 31st there we go but anyways we're gonna get these two machines filled up and we'll get back to you guys once we're done All right, everyone, so we are finally done filling up both machines. And of course, you guys already know, before we leave, I'm gonna take out the money from both machines and show you guys how much there was. So starting off with the snack machine, again, these aren't gonna be no crazy collections, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, of course, it's not as heavy as we wanted it to, but anyways, you ready to see? Yes, let's see it. And there it is. That's pretty thin. Ooh. So there it is. That's the cash for two weeks. But again, they do mostly use credit cards here. So the other half is probably in credit card sales. But in coins... <laughs> no coins. I mean, we never really get coins from like any machine. All right, so now for the soda machine. The soda machine obviously does better than the snack machine. So this one should be a little bit better. It doesn't feel heavier though. Why should it be thinner? So here we go, soda machine, and there it is. But isn't it about the same? No, it looks a little bit thicker. It looks maybe a tiny bit thicker, but it's not that far off. I see a lot more pink in this one. Oh yeah. It's good. You gotta make sure. Soda machine's good, snack machine's good. We're done. All right, everyone, so we are done with the first location. But before we leave, I got a quick funny story for you guys. So while we were inside filling up the machine, there was like a older gentleman inside waiting to get like his, you know, things finished or whatever. So we were just there, you know, filling up the machine. The crate was open with the snacks. He walks up to the crate, goes through everything, tries to figure out what he wants. He grabs the Kit Kat and literally just takes it. <laughs> No, he was sneaky about it too because he started making conversation with yeah. us. I don't know if he was trying to steal it, but like he was he was being sneaky about it. And that's whenever I turned and then he said, how much do I owe you for this? And I was like, don't worry about it. Well, I owe you some money for it. All right, go ahead and take it. Okay. Yeah. 15 minutes later, he comes back for another snack. It was like a cream pie or something. This time, he actually just came, grabbed it, and took it. Uh, like I said, he was like an older gentleman. I didn't tell him nothing. I just gave it to him. I just think it's funny. Yeah, that's the first time we've been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. And there was no lays in there. Que bonita. I can't read. Guys, so real quick, we had to stop by for some gas, and I hate putting gas because we put gas every two days, and I'm not even lying about that. And gas right now is not even cheap, it's a lot. 185. Just like guys do it, you gotta take it out, wiggle it first, and then put it back where it goes. And you completely missed, like guys do. <laughs> Oh, well, would you look at that? There actually is people here. All right, everyone, so we just made it to the second location, and this is the spot that I was telling you guys that we haven't been here in like two or three months. And if you guys look around, there's only like, what, six, five cars? 
So there's barely any people here and that's the reason why they don't use the machines. So I'm gonna take this empty box, we're gonna go inside. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of expired stuff. So we're gonna take everything out that's bad. We're gonna clean the machines as well and then we're gonna decide if we're gonna sell the location, keep the machines here, take them out. I don't know, what do you think? I think we're gonna have to take them out. Look at that, how does that happen? So there's two drinks that fell, another one, and a squirt. And this one looks funny. All right, everyone, so this is the soda machine, and even though it looks empty, and you guys might think that there's a lot of money inside, there's not gonna be any money, just because last time we came, three months ago, we left it looking exactly like what it is right now. So last time we actually didn't fill it up just because you know everyone here told us that they were gonna shut down for a couple months Which they did and that was it the coke and the dr. Pepper I actually left it filled up all the way to the back just because those were the only ones that people were buying But no, it's still all the way full So obviously we're not gonna be filling up the machine because there's literally no points. Nobody has bought a single thing Let's see how much a soda machine can make in three months at our slowest location You can't even see it, it looks empty. Wow. I'm rich. What is that, like 15 bucks? 15, 19, 20. Oh. Exactly $20 in three months, I can retire now. <laughs> I can retire now. That's the most we've made in three months out of one machine. We have two options. Number one, we wait, we leave the machines here and hope that they open back up, that they start getting more people to work and that they start getting busy again. Or option number two, we take the machines out, we sell them, or we put them somewhere else. So again, go down below and let us know what you guys want us to do. All right, so you guys probably remember this location. This used to be the location <laughs> where it, so this used to be the location where the machines used to get filled with spider webs, insects. Actually, fun fact, if you guys remember, if you're an OG viewer, I think it was like one of my first ever videos, but this is the location where we had a rat get into one of the machines and they ate everything. If you guys want to see that video, go back in my channel. It was one of my first ever videos and it was disgusting. I gotta take everything out. Wait, if you think about it, this is the opposite of what we normally do. Instead of stalking a machine, we're unstalking it. <laughs> it has turned into one. Say I won't eat it. You won't. That's hard. <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. this one feels heavier. You can't even see it. That's the worst part. You actually can't even see it. Is it like two bucks? Six bucks. Look at that. But yeah, anyways guys, there it is. We ended up taking everything out from the snack machine because everything was expired. I might as well leave the machine off, no? But see, why do we need it on if there's nothing in there? This one is a little bit different. It's like a snack machine. The drinks just fall. Literally just fall to the bottom. So sometimes I guess they just get stuck. But yeah, anyways, I guess this is goodbye. It could be goodbye forever or until they get busy again. Don't cry, baby. We'll yes. see them again soon. We were talking to one of the employees because he came up to us and he was telling us that right now there's only 14 people working there. Why are you always dropping everything? Again, if you guys go back to our older videos, like our first ever collections, we used to always come to this location and it used to be one of our best locations. And now it went from our best to literally our slowest location. You guys saw, we made like 30 bucks in three months. <laughs> That's $10 a month. <laughs> Not even for the gas. And it's an hour away from home. So again, I want you guys to go down below and comment, do we sell the machines or keep them in here and hope that they get busy again. All right, everyone, so right now we are in the last location, location number three, and also you guys might be wondering why this time we have a bunch of stuff on the dolly and we were supposed to only fill up our slow locations. 
Well, basically, long story short, the other two locations you guys saw, those are technically our only slower locations. Every other location is pretty average. So again, I know this video was supposed to be us only going to our slow locations, but I mean, why not end it with a good one, a good busy one? You guys are gonna see how empty those two machines really are. We got two full crates of only drinks. We got two smaller crates of all just chips and candy and all the pastries and stuff. And of course, a few more drinks down there because it didn't fit in those two crates. Uh, but yeah, this is it. I'm surprised we were actually able to fit everything in the cart. So yeah, with that being said, let's go inside. It's actually not as heavy as you think. Yes, it is. Not for me. I couldn't pull on Come it. Come on now. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, so here we are. We got the snack machine, the drink machine, and right off the bat, you guys can see already how empty these two machines really are. Especially the drink machine. Like, I actually feel bad at this point because this is bad. Now, a quick fun fact about this location. Hopefully, nobody hears me. But every single time, ever since we got this location, there used to be like a resident that used to live here. And every single time, she used to always come up to us and tell us how the machine took her money and that she tried to buy like a bag of chips. Now, I don't wanna say she was lying, but I'm just saying that every single time she said the same thing about the exact same product. And the thing about this machine, we actually have a guaranteed delivery system. So if there's like an item that gets stuck or somebody loses their money, it gives them the money back or it gives them like the option to pick a different selection. And I used to never tell her that until one time, like it just happened way too many times and I told her about it and she just didn't say nothing. Um, and I think that was the last time she came up yeah, to us. Yeah, because ever since then she hasn't came up yeah, to us. Yeah, she hasn't come up to us no more. So that's a quick funny story. Now with that being said, like I don't want to sound like a bad person. I always give employees or people around like free snacks or free drinks. But at the same time, that's different than like coming up to us and lying. Yeah, that's true. You know what, baby, I'm sorry. I really wish I didn't have to do this right now, but you're fired. Why? You're supposed to be the manager. Look at this. Look how empty you let this machine get. And I failed? Wait, come back, come back, come back. Come here, I'll tell you this, come here. Come here, I thought about it twice. I actually need you. If you stay, I'll give you a raise from a dollar an hour to a dollar 25. Can I think about it? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Anyways guys, we're gonna get these two machines filled up. I'm gonna show you guys how much money is inside at the very end. Uh, but with that being said, let's get them filled up. Ooh, look at this. You guys don't normally see my girlfriend filling up these machines. Cause you don't let me. Hey, I wouldn't say that. So what would you say? Guys, so the reason why I always fill up the soda machines is because I like having the color separated. For example, for example, I can't have two green drinks next to each other or else like everything else is gonna look too dark. You know what I'm saying? So the greens have to be spread out. The oranges have to be spread out. Like the colors have to be spread out. That way it looks Colorful, basically. That doesn't make sense. With that being said, you guys already know what time it is. I'm gonna take out the bill acceptor from this machine first. Actually, the snack one. Cause soda machines always do a lot better. So let's come over here. You're right, save the best for last. All right, so for the first machine, we are gonna be doing the snack machine. It's been about like three weeks since the last time we came. But anyways, are you ready? Yes. Let's get a drum roll. One, two, and look at that. Ooh. But yeah, here it is. Not as good as you guys might think. It's not one of our busiest locations, but it's not bad. All right, now for this one, I guarantee it this one is gonna do really well because you guys saw how empty the machine was. And this one, this one's heavy. 
I can work out with this. Here we go. Chill. One, two. Look at those veins. Look at those veins. Boy. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. One, two. Look at that. Whoa. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? This one's a lot better. It's kind of hard to take the money out when it's full, but I guess that's a good problem to have now. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. The soda machine, about three weeks as well. And I, I believe this one takes fives, so there's, there should be a few fives in there. Yeah, a couple five right there. So again, there's the soda machine, and here's the snack machine. About three weeks. It's fat together. I never learn, guys. I always put my money in an empty box. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right, everyone, so we are finally back home. And real quick, before I do end the video, I did count all the money, so I do want to show you guys how much we actually collected. So all this right here is actually from all three locations, except I did use $200 to buy more product for the last location you guys saw. So just imagine all this with an extra $200, and that's what we collected from three locations today. Now, I'm not gonna lie, of course, most of this cash is from the last location we collected from, uh, but again, there it is. So real quick, in cash, the grand total was $491 from all three locations. And in credit card sales, it was $206. Uh, so the grand total is $697. Uh, so basically, 700 bucks. So now you guys know how much our slow locations make, how much our busy locations make. And also, don't worry, I know you guys are still waiting on the video where we go to every single location and fill up every machine and collect all the money. I really gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that video just because with all the machines we have, it, that video will come out to like an hour long, which of course I can't do that unless you guys want me to. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already and peace out.